And so that's been really valuable here because the other thing is in reinforcement learning, much like actually what I've learned is much like when games are being made, a system can look like it's working. And then when you really dig into it, you realize it's not really working at all. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. We, have yeah. So many experiences <laughs> with, we would put random robots that were literally like move in a direction for a number of steps, pause, pick a random direction and repeat. And you put people in a room with this robot and they start telling you a story about what it's learning and what it's deciding. And, and they anthropomorphize it and they project this intention and this agency onto this random process. So we knew to be ready for that. And so now we come here and we, the games team hooks something up and they build a robot or they build an agent, I should say, in a game. And we see it behaving right, but not quite right. And like, for me and Alex, that's alarm bells are going off. We're like, okay, let's go look at the observation stream. Let's look at what it's seeing from the world, what it's choosing, what its rationale is. And more often than not, it's actually not working at all. It's just because of the constrained action space or the situation 